Yes, yes, yes! All right, all right, all right! Woo! Okay. Welcome to Fantasy Sports Addicts Anonymous. My name is Tom. Hi, Tom. I'm a fantasy sports addict. My name is Ryan. A little loud there, Ryan. And I, too, am a fantasy sports addict. Okay. Sorry if I'm loud. I'm just... Excited! Woo! Apparently. Okay. Today, uh, all right, let's, let's back it up for one second. You may have seen our uh, all prospect, not all prospects, our all... Sleeper, sleeper team? Sleeper team, yeah, excuse me. I'm, we're, we've got so many videos going, it's crazy. All sleeper team video. Okay, all sleepers. Hopefully you've checked that out. We're going to have more as the season goes on. Obviously, this is very early season. But the one thing we will not back down on is our list of players we consider to be busts. Bust. Like, bust. What, what actually qualifies them as a bust? Like, what is a bust? Well, it's a statue. and the... I'm kidding. Come on. All right. A bust. I like yeah. those busts. I don't <laughs> like these busts. Different busts. All right. These, these are players that you don't want on your teams for varying reasons, okay? It could be because you've been burned by them in the past, uh, either by injury or just underperformance. Uh, they're also players that just rank, rank too, too high. high. Like uh, you're paying for like career years, and like the odds of you getting that value out of them, we don't think you're gonna get them. Now the other op option here is somebody who's transferred to a new team, perhaps, and it's just not conducive to success or fantasy success. Are they just old and not gonna? You're paying for past performances, but they need to retire or something. And you don't want to draft them. All right, so. These are players picked in like the first 10 rounds or so. Oh, uh, uh, your top team. 100 on ESPN. Yahoo's not out yet, but, you know, because anything after 100 pick, like, you're not going to lose your league over it. If you no, can. you can't be fucked out the window in round 10. But round one, round two, top 50, you're fucked out the goddamn window. All right, Ryan, so who are you worried might fuck you out the window this year? All right, year? I'm just going to go ahead and give my quick list. Okay. Uh, the first one, it actually pains me to say. Oh. I got, I got his little bobblehead right here, A.J. Pollock. I love A.J. Pollock, but me too. he's going to be going right at the end of round one, you know, like, what, 12, 13, 14th pick. And he had a career year, was great, you know, won oh. lots of people gold, but... He was somebody's just, fantasy MVP, in fact. Yeah, I just think it's, it's too high. I, I want to see it for another year before I'm going to... Pay that price. That. Um, Jake Arrieta, same situation. Uh, you know, he was fantasy Cy Young last year for us. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, again, he's going to be good, but I don't advise picking pitching that early. I think he's like 18th in ESPN, and just, I'm not doing it. Simple as that. Sorry. Sorry uh, Joey Votto, he's ranked real high, did shitty, had a good year last year. Um, I hope people in our dynasty leagues aren't listening to this because I'm yeah. going to try to trade him and <laughs> where I got him. Uh, you overpaid for him last year, too. Yeah, these Oops. next two are kind of the same. Uh, Troy Tulowitzki and Robinson Cano. Uh, if you got them up the middle, you got nothing up the middle is what you're saying. Right, I mean injuries, underperformance, like Tulo's great, but he just can't stay healthy. Cano hasn't been Robinson Cano for a long time, and they're still ranked really aggressively, and I'm going to take more of a sure thing at that point. You don't like Tulo on Toronto's playing surface, you mean? Oh, no, absolutely not. Okay. Uh, Jacoby Ellsbury, I don't even remember when he's been good. Yeah. And I don't see him range. coming back and doing good. And the last one I have is King Felix. Uh, okay. Normally, King Felix has been, you know, set your clock to him. He's been great, but he's got, like, a nagging injury and just, you know, for a top 50 player or whatnot, like, I'm going to wait and take pitching way later. And the, even other pitchers right around the same time than King Felix. Okay. Uh, before I get started with my bus, for these players I'm about to name, I need, like, something to put between us so I don't get hit. Uh, uh oh. All right, we got <clears throat> Giancarlo Stanton for me. Boo! George Springer. Boo! Two outfielders with power that I just don't trust to either stay healthy or hit for a decent enough average. Don't listen to them. Sorry, and then. Don't. I love these guys. Ryan Braun and Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman is literally that, like, well, we all know what Braun's situation is. Even if he's healthy, it's probably because he's taking PEDs. 
Fuck you, Brian. We hate you here in Arizona, and we we hate you. Uh, but yeah, uh, Freddie Freeman is that last last chance first baseman. You think, okay, well, maybe I'll still get a little something. Nope. Mm -mm. Just especially with Atlanta having nothing around him. I just don't like Freddie Freeman. Again, I, I still like Freddie in that, that situation. All right, Carlos Gomez, cargo two. Carlos Gomez, I don't, I, ugh, I hate him. I hate, I just hate what he offers. I hate that he's always been overranked. Even now that he's slid in the ranks a bit, I just don't like no, the batting average. Even just, there's no power. The stolen bases aren't even all that serviceable for me. No Carlos Gomez. Okay, I mean, cargo two, like, I kind of like him in Houston. I like Houston. I doubt what did I'm going to be taking him. He didn't do anything last year. Granted, it was part part of a season, but still. Yeah. All right. Uh, Hanley Ramirez, that guy is just an injury waiting to happen. He's, he's getting a old. sick horse and needs to be put down back behind the barn, if you ask us. Yeah, and he's blocking players I'd prefer to see playing anyway. I mean, how is Hanley Ramirez playing first base now? Whatever. It's, it's just because they have nowhere else to put him because he can't play anywhere else. So, no Hanley Ramirez for you, hopefully. Uh, this next guy is the only pitcher I've got in my list, but Cole Hamels, again, he's getting not too old, but just Cole Hamels in Texas, uh, I'm not buying it. So I, I can agree with that. I mean, he's still ranked and ranked too high. and Just, yeah, these are players I'm, I'm not trusting, you're not trusting. Probably you shouldn't trust either. Just a bit of advice on our end. Don't listen to Tom. Don't listen to Ryan. A.J. Pollock's the man. That's all. And I didn't get all defensive. John Carlos Stanton. I'm sorry. George Springer, those are my dogs. Yeah, your dogs that are always sick. They need to, they're getting rabies. Put them down. <laughs> all right, fine. Uh, tell us what you think. Do you disagree with any of these names or do you agree? Let us know. Hopefully we can help you steer clear from disaster on draft day. If you have other busts, you know, let us know. Yeah, chime in. We'll see if we can add them in the next video or something. Uh, but in the meantime, fantasy gods, fantasy gods, please grant me the serenity to set my ideal lineup, courage to add drop aggressively, especially drop these guys, and the wisdom to trade away busted players. Amen. Amen. Okay. Check out our website, fantasysportsaddicts.com. Hit us up on Twitter, at letter F, letter S, the word double, letter A, at FS double A. Uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave a comment down below. Give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Woo! Just give us a donation, uh, buy me a beer, please. He's getting a little empty over there. I, I know. You got expensive taste in beer and it's getting empty. So help us out and let us know what you think. Although the lucky Buddha didn't help win Powerball last night. Nope. You lie! Oh. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a great baseball season. Good luck. Woo!